Now let's say we, we want to create our final filter. Not let's say, we are going to create our final filter. So what we want here is one column that's going to summarize the analysis we've done so far. So we have a list of iPhones that we took from the internet. We scraped from Craigslist, blah, blah, blah. We wanted to get, we want to make, we, the goal of our analysis is to find the average price by make and model or by model. 5s, 6s, 7, etc. So what we want to do now that we've created our clean price and we've got our model numbers, we want to have one filter that's going to tell us whether or not our the phone listing is a good listing. Is it a legit listing? Um, and we were in the previous video, we stepped through how to check to make sure the prices were good. So we said if the price is greater than 100 using this Boolean expression, return true, otherwise return false. Now, the last thing we need to do is looking at some of these, we can see that there are some, we could use this as our filter, except it would, it would, it would, <laughs> there are listings that are true, such as this one, the Galaxy S7 Edge. Now we're only interested in iPhone, so we want to filter this one out. So there's an easy way to filter out these listings where the price is greater than 100 or greater than or equal to 100, but the model number is not one of our iPhone model numbers that we spent so much time standardizing. And so what we're going to use is the LEN function. LEN stands for length. And so when we use LEN, we can say, for example, we'll just type it in, LEN of the model number, and the number will be returned. So we can see in this example that our Galaxy S7 has a length of zero. So, or the computer service repair is a length of zero, although since the price is less than 100, it will return false anyway. So, we know that if the length is zero, and this value, or excuse me, we know that a good phone listing has a legit price value of true, and it will have a length of something greater than zero. It looks like two or one, but we can just say greater than zero. So, in order to find that, in order to create a legit listing, Legit listing question mark and then per my convention I just make these black and yellow. Like with Khalifa. I will now use I because I have two conditions here, right? The legit price has to be true, the length has to be greater than zero. So really quickly, how do I how do I create the Boolean expression? I can just add len length is greater than zero. Boom. Now I've got trues and falses again, right? But I want to combine both of these. And so the easy way to combine two Boolean expressions where both have to be true is to use the AND formula. So it will take that first logical with expression or Boolean expression, which is the length has to be greater than zero. And the second one will just be, is this cell equal to true? And true is a value that I can just type without quotes. And bam, now we have our filter. So in this case, the AND formula will only return true if all of the logical arguments or Boolean expressions return true. So that means, is the price greater than greater than or equal to 100? Yes. And is the length of the model number greater than or equal to zero? Yes, then it, this will return true. And in fact, let me break this out really quickly, just so we can see, let me, so that we can see how both of these work. So len of model number greater than or equal to zero, we'll call this, uh, legit model, and now we'll create now we'll create our legit listing just over to the side so that you can see how tr it, the the value of the and formula will only be true if there is a true in cell H two if legit price is true and if legit model is true. So we'll call this one legit listing. Okay, now we'll say and. Legit price equals true, and legit model equals true. And if neither, if one of these two is false, so in this case the price is, is false but the model was good, or in this case the price was good but the model is false, we will return false. And now we can use this, this single formula here this, that returns true or false as the filter for our pivot table when we do our analysis and make it much easier down the road. But again, what we've done here is we just combined two Boolean expressions to create, to create one value using the AND formula. Now, if we only cared whether or not one of the two was true, or one of the, then we could have used OR. And in that case, it would have returned true if any of the conditions were true, whereas AND requires all of them to be true. Anyway, in this case, a quick hitter for you, use the AND formula with your Boolean expressions to group multiple ones together, or, or use OR. <laughs> Until next time.